Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this very cute pearl succulent. So get your materials ready. The materials are listed at the beginning of the video, and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start by creating the part and we are going to start by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I close the gap by pulling the yarn. Okay, so now in the second round, uh, we're going to increase each stitch around. So we'll have a total of 12 stitches. So we'll increase. Then increase in the next stitch. And increase in all the stitches. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. Then single crochet, increase. And repeat that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to start by doing single crochet and then we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll do two single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that five times so we'll do single crochet, one single crochet, two, then increase, then two single crochets, increase, and we'll repeat that until we have one stitch left here at the end. So we'll continue to single crochet, increase, two single crochets, increase. Two single crochets, then increase, then we'll have, we'll do single crochet in the last stitch left here at the end. Okay, so now 
in the fifth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around in the front loop uh, front loop only so we'll have a total of um, 24 stitches so we'll go into the front loop here so we have the back and the front loop go here do single crochet then single crochet in the front loop of the next stitch then continue doing single crochets in the front loops and continue like that all the way round okay so now for the next two rounds which is round six and round seven we'll do single crochets all the way around in each round so we'll have a total of 24 stitches in each round so you'll continue to do single crochets in every stitch And continue doing single crochets all the way in this round and the next round which is the seventh round and then we'll do the eighth round together okay so after we're done with the seventh round this is how our little part looks like so now in the eighth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one, single crochet two, single crochet three, and increase in the next stitch. And then we'll repeat that. So three single crochets. And increase in the next stitch. And we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now for the next five rounds which is from round 9 until round 13 we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round so we'll have a total of 30 stitches in each round so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way until you get to the 13th round and then we'll start the 14th round together so after we are done with the 13th round this is how our little part looks like so now in the next round we are going to start by doing uh, by doing single crochet in the next two stitches but we'll crochet in the back loops only in this round so we'll do single crochet one in the back loop and then in the next back loop we'll do single crochet two okay and then in the next one we'll increase so increase in the next stitch now in the next uh, stitches we'll do four single crochets then increase and we we'll repeat that five times until we have two stitches left here at the end so remember we are crocheting only in the back loop so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch And then we'll repeat that so four single crochets and increase four single crochets increase 
four single crochets and increase and then one more time four single crochets and increase and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining two stitches so single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch okay so now in the next round which is the 15th round we are going to do single crochets all the way around so we'll have a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochets and continue doing single crochets all the way round okay so now after we are done with that in the 16th round which is the last round of all of the part we are going to slip stitch all the way around so we'll have a total of 36 slip stitches so you'll slip stitch but make it loose enough we don't uh we don't want it too tight so slip stitch in every stitch so continue slip stitching all the way round okay so when you get to the last stitch i'm going to remove the marker and then slip stitch and cut off the yarn like that so there we have our little part so now let's make the dart so the dart is the part where we put on top here over here so we just fold our little part like that and then place the dart on top okay so let's make the dart okay so for the dart we are going to start by making six single crochets into the magic ring so i already did that so now in the second round we are going to increase every stitch around so we'll have a total of 12 stitches so we'll increase and increase in the next stitch and continue increasing in all the stitches Okay, so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around so we'll have a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat so single crochet and increase And continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the third round sorry in the fourth round we're going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round so we'll have a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and increase and repeat so two single crochets 
and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fifth round which is the last round of the dart we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way around so we'll have a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase in the next stitch and repeat so three single crochets and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so when you're done i'll just remove the marker then slip stitch in the next stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so the dirt we're gonna sew it here on top so we're just gonna fill uh, the little pot with fiber fill and then sew the top like that and then our vines will go on top as you can see so now let's make the vines okay so the vines are quite easy so it's a repetition of uh, 10 chains all the way continuously until we get the length that we want so we'll do 10 chains so chain one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and then now we'll slip stitch in the first chain here where we started so we'll come here and slip stitch okay and then we'll repeat that so we'll do a chain 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we'll slip stitch into the first chain over here so slip stitch so we'll continue repeating that so chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and then slip stitch in the first chain okay so we'll continue making uh like that all the way until you get the length that you want so i'll make uh my length up to like 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters and i'll make four vines so you can make as many vines as you want until to the length that you want you can make it shorter all longer okay so let's make uh finish making the vines and then we'll um, combine all the parts together okay so guys as you can see i finished putting all the parts together so what i did is i stuffed my pot first then put the little soil on top as you can see and then i attached all the vines at the top at the very top as you can see this is how they are dripping from the top so I made a total of seven because I wanted them to be uh, quite a lot at the top as you can see and then I made this little hanging hanging top so what I did is I made uh, a long chain as you can see so you can make as long as you want this is how mine looks like and that is it for today so it's very easy and beautiful pattern so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos until next time bye